Okay, so basically we installed the LensMate adapter to put filters on and ultimately put a Ulanzi WL1 on the Sony ZV-1. And what we noticed was there's a considerable amount of play here in this lens. And this is the lens with the lens made adapter on there. And we're nervous and we're thinking that we're not going to use that. We unpackaged the Ulanzi and it eliminates this plastic adapter. Okay, right here, this little plastic ring. Right here, it eliminates this piece right here which I feel is where all the play is coming from. Because if you just take this ring and put it on the camera, quarter turn it on, okay, you can move it around. As you can see in this footage here, you can move that ring around. Not too thrilled about that. Not only that, it's plastic. Not a big fan of plastic when it comes to certain things. So when I unpackaged the Ulanzi adapter, what I noticed was they provided us with a metal. This is an aluminum ring, 3M, which is good. So this adapter here that comes with the Ulanzi basically eliminates this bayonet style or quarter turn style to twist on. And this is gonna to mount to the front of the camera. And with this mounted to the camera, it's gonna give us threads which are gonna be solid and there's gonna be no movement. Now, before we do this, and before we remove the lens made adapter, we did test to see, and this is the adapter from the Ulanzi, that our filter threads right on. So this way we have a, either a neutral density filter, a UV filter, a polarizer, whatever filter we choose to put on this camera, whatever we're deciding to shoot, we have that ability to just thread the um, filters directly on the nose of the camera without the use of this plastic adapter that has all the play in it. Now, it really doesn't have much of an effect with a filter, but where we're feeling our problems are going to come into play is when we mount the Ulanzi wide-angle macro lens on it. And what's going to happen is this lens is going to move. And when this lens moves on the body of the camera, it's going to distort the image and cause the image to go a little on the wacky side. So, just on thread, very nice aluminum protector cover for this lens. And then this is adapter, of course, threads onto here. Like so. And then that is going to take the place of that ring. And if you want macro, you just unthread the wide angle section, like so, and then you have a macro. And then when you want wide angle, you thread the second section on. And this, just to give you an idea here, this thread is 55 millimeter, and this is 52. So 52, 55. And what we've done, that gives you your wide angle lens onto your Sony ZV-1. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to protect our Ulanzi lens, secure it away, and then here's my filter. We're going to put that back in its case so it's protected and safe, lacking fingerprints from my dirty greasy hands and my foul language. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to remove this without damaging the adapter, without damaging the camera, and everything in between. Fortunately, LensMate actually thought ahead and figured if, you know, instead of um, having to pry this off or use a screwdriver in an improper way, um, they gave us this handy little dandy like dental floss tool. So we're going to try to fish this underneath of the lens, wiggle it across, and we'll see what happens. So on there pretty freaking good, I can say that. Wow, I'll tell you what, that is impressive. That took that ring right off. 
and actually really didn't damage the glue a little bit, little damage to the glue, but that doesn't matter. We don't plan on reinstalling this. In my opinion here, potentially the best part of this LensMate setup is they provide a removal tool so you can safely take it off your camera. So here we go. One thing that the Lansy did not come with was a cleaning pad. So we're just going to use a lens wipe. Hoping to God it's going to work and clean it and not leave any residue. It doesn't look like it does. It's actually faster drying than the lens mate stuff. So now here comes the nerve wracking part. We're going to mount this adapter onto this camera. Unlike the lens mate, the Alonzi does not provide a centering tool or ring to line it up on the camera. So we're going to have to do this all by eye on camera to line this up. So we're ready to pull the uh, 3M adhesive off and we're going to stick it on there and we're going to pray to God we're straight and square. So here we go. I'm a little nervous. Looks like my reveal is pretty good. <clears throat> I'm going to say I'm pretty good. So that's what the camera's going to look like. And as you can see, this is our 52 millimeter UV protector. That thread's right on. Now we have a nice protective lens. So what we noticed with this, if you just buy the Alonzi, not the lens mate, and you buy a 52 millimeter UV or polarizer or a neutral density filter, you basically can thread that right onto that 52 millimeter thread that is provided to us from Alonzi. So then as you can see, that's, the, that's that. Now what we're going to do, this is the Alonzi lens itself. Comes with a real nice aluminum filter cap. That's going to thread right on. Don't over tighten it, just eh, snug. Now, as you can see, there is no movement in this lens in comparison. We have a little bit of play, but that actually you could feel is the, in the body of the camera, the lens in the camera is moving, which theoretically, if the lens in the camera is moving in conjunction with everything, it's not gonna cause any image distortion whatsoever. So we can pop the lens cap off, and that's what you got. And if you want to do macro, you can just hold the body here where it says macro. You can unscrew the wide section of it, like so. And now you have a macro lens setup. And if you want to put something on it to protect it, this is 55 millimeter now. So you can put a 55 millimeter um, UV protective lens on here if you're doing a lot of macro work, maybe you're outside, dusty environment, dirty environment. The other thing too um, is when you're working macro, the camera is much closer to the action. So you're more likely that you're going to touch the lens to the object. If the object is dirty or has oils on it, you're going to smear it and smudge it on your lens and cause yourself a little bit of aggravation and headache. So then you can thread your wide angle lens right onto that 55 millimeter of the macro. Now I'm right now I'm holding the macro so I'm not twisting against the adapter that's actually uh, glued onto the camera with the adhesive. And now we're back to having a wide angle lens attached to our Sony ZV-1. Now, one thing we also noticed is the thread here is different throughout. So um, the thread here 
is larger than all the other threads that attach. So your 50, 52 millimeter to start, you go to a 55 millimeter from your macro to your wide, and now you're going to, which we believe is a 61.7 millimeter according to the Alonzi website. So 61.7 millimeter according to the Alonzi website is the internal thread to protect your Ulanzi wide angle lens. We've yet to find a 61.7 millimeter UV filter because I would like to install this on here to protect this lens from accidental damage. So if you're thinking about the Ulanzi setup, this WL1 for the Sony ZV-1 or the Sony RX100, okay, you do not need any other things to put this on the camera. It comes with everything you need, okay? And one little side note, I was doing a bunch of internet homework um, before I purchased this. And what a lot of YouTubers were saying that have the Sony ZV-1 is when this lens is off and you're working with the camera itself and you're shooting some cool footage and if when this camera is out and on, like so, this lens is exposed. Everybody complains if you get a drop of water on there that it fogs up the lens and creates a freaking nightmare. With having this now set up like this and you put a filter on the nose of the camera, even if it's just a UV filter, not a neutral density filter, not a polarizer of any type, with this filter on here, basically in a nutshell, water gets on that lens. It's not going to fog up your lens and the water's not going to get on there. Because what guys were saying is, if you watch when you close the camera, you'll see the little shutter on the outside of the camera closed to protect the lens. When you try to turn your camera off, you see it close right there. When that closes, the water's trapped behind there and starts to fog up. A lot of guys were saying, damn, I wish I would have had another camera on site because now my lens is fogged and I can't get the fog out of my lens. Well, with this setup, you don't have to worry about that. No water, you know, splash water, no dirt and dust is going to get into your main lens of your camera. It's basically, it's not water proof, it's water resistant, I would say at best, but it's definitely a lot better protected than if you didn't have it at all. And from what other YouTubers, we don't have any experience with this, when in our research, what we found is if you get the, the factory lens wet, without a filter on it, of course, and you get that wet, plan on not using the camera the rest of that day, especially if it's hot and humid out, you're not gonna be able to use the camera because it will not dry out properly. So basically what's gonna end up happening in my world is this lens is gonna live on my camera at all times. So um, I'm very pleased right off, the, right off the jump street here with uh, this Ulanzi wide angle macro adapter. Build quality feels absolutely awesome in my eyes. But just as an auto mechanic, not a camera guy, I'm getting into this camera stuff. So I'm, I'm learning just like you guys are too, I guess. So basically the build quality of this um, WL1 Ulanzi adapter, very, very high quality in my opinion, especially for 50 bucks. Um, I can't complain. Really adds a nice adapter to my camera to allow us to do things that we couldn't do before with the camera. And if I can get it out of here without destroying it, they provided us with a few extra, looks like they gave us four, extra sticky tabs if this happens to come off. So we have that for future use if we decide to use it or if we need to use it. So the lens made adapter set um, was $27. So I think you're getting a hell of a lot more for 50 bucks with the Ulanzi and you're able to do everything you can do that the lens mate was supposed to be able to do and you're not worried about the um, slop in the uh, adapter itself. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. It installed very simple, looks cool on the camera. We're gonna test it out. We'll keep you guys uh, in the loop and hopefully you'll see some improvement in our footage with this new camera, new lens setup, and keep our fingers crossed that it's good.